Hello everybody and welcome to this video and a big thank you to all of the new subscribers and thanks for pressing the like button on previous videos. I would like to take you all on a musical journey again today while we create a musical doodle. And as we're coming up to Remembrance Sunday, I would like to create a musical doodle which is dedicated to those that serve in armed conflicts around the world, where we can remember the heroes that help keep us safe. I was fortunate enough at the weekend to meet a gentleman who served around about 70 years ago. He was 92 and I could still see when we talked to him in his eyes the pain he felt and the grief that he must have experienced whilst he served and for the rest of his life had to remember. So I feel it will be a wonderful thing to be able to create something today to support and remember those who served us so well. I will be making the sheet music available to download for free. I'll also be making the sheet music um, available to purchase and any money that I receive from this will go straight to the charity Help for Heroes, which I'll hope to send on its way as close to Remembrance Sunday as possible. And I'll be sure to let you all know how much money is raised. I'll also be adding to this donation um, so we can support these heroes together. I'll take you over to the piano now and we can begin our doodle. So, welcome to the piano. We are going to today be having a go at creating this doodle for heroes. And I'd like to take a moment really just to try and think about the type of theme that my piece of music is going to have today. I'd like to perhaps focus on creating a more positive sounding piece, even though the topic is really sensitive and obviously contains a lot of sad parts to it. I'd like to focus on the positive side though, so that we can really support everybody and remember heroes at this time with a positive feeling. I feel like we probably want to have a almost military-like drum beat in the background of this, and I was, I was thinking earlier about how this might take shape, and although I've not planned anything so far, I was Feeling like D major might be the right place to go, so I've put two sharps in my key signature. I'm not sure that really the key makes too much difference, but somehow it just felt like it made sense. So I was considering maybe a beat like this. Maybe something like this, and then perhaps a melody almost like a, a, a military band with a, a whistle at the top. Something like this. So I might start with the beat. Now this is a rhythm that feels a little bit like a dotted rhythm, so I'm going to zoom in here on bar one to make things a little bit easier to write. We've got a D, which is then followed by perhaps a dotted D. No, I think I'll pop the dot there as I played it actually. That does sound like it fits more into what I was thinking about. So we've got the dotted rhythm at the beginning, and there we have. Or maybe we do want a longer note there. Let's try it this way. Yeah, I might try that one actually, I think. So we'll copy this and paste. Maybe have at least four bars of this to get us going with. So at the beginning of the piece there can be an introduction and it's a good idea even in a doodle to think about the structure as always just so that things feel like they're taking some sort of shape and we can consider the beginning, middle and end of our pieces just as importantly in this form as we would in a larger framework too. <laughs> pick up into this and it's often a good idea just to test a few things out, have a listen to them. So I'm going to put a pick up in which you can think of as a couple of notes or something like this in a previous bar that's just going to help the music to feel like it's getting started in a nice way. So I'm going to pop this F up here and think through the melody a little bit more now. So I like this going up to an A. So 
I'm going to have to think really just about where this melody is going to go. Let's just tidy this rest up here. So... So one, two, three, four, up to the D. Maybe then coming down with some more quavers at the end to uh, match into what we've had previously. Down to a B. Let's try that. And this is really sounding exactly how I wanted it to now. It's funny how you have a melody in your head and you think about how it's going to sound until it's written down, keeps changing, and now I think this might be getting towards what I was hoping it might. And I think I'll go back up then with another pickup at the end, keeping a similar rhythm as I have done with the previous ends of bars as well. And maybe try to make this into a four bar phrase. We've got two bars so far with a little pickup at the beginning, so this will probably end around about here in maybe the fourth bar of the melody. Maybe go to a G, then an E. And then follow that back down again there. And so hopefully it will fall down then in the right place so we can have our tune ending over here. And I think that really works nicely. Let's just paste this across here and we'll create that into a minim and then one more bar here for the last D to go into. Now I think that's created a really lovely sense of melody at the beginning of the tune. Let's just zoom out and have a little play of this then all the way through. Now I think we could change the harmony as we might go through this piece into something a little bit different. I imagine we could complement the right-hand notes with more D major triads, perhaps involving G major and A major as well, to try and make this feel a little bit more like it has a melody that has some harmony under it too. But given the theme of this is more of a military march, or a military melody of some sort, having this constant drone underneath is very reminiscent of perhaps a lot of those types of um, pieces of music as well. So I think we'll keep it as it is for now. What I might do is then move this around down a little bit for the next version. So I'm going to just take what I've done here so far and copy this down onto the next section. And see if we can just involve a little difference in the pitch. So let's just pop that down there again. We might put the pickup back in. I might just take this melody then down an octave now and just have a little play on the piano and see how this feels a little bit lower up or down. And I think there, that is the one. We need to have even lower than this, the melody coming down. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it a little bit at a time because I think it could get a little bit messy if I need to move things around. I think I might actually put on the lower F as well then to finish up the D major chord. Thickening up the texture here I think is going to make this work. Keep that F there. So. We'll pop that F as a lower note down here and maybe keep it for the whole bar. No, I think we'll play it twice. It feels better that way. So let's make you have another one here. Just to really reinforce the drum beat underneath, I think this helps. try going down here into the minor key but it's getting a very bit it's a bit boomy and a bit loud so let's just try and thin this I think 
that might come down there to the A. Let's just turn these into C sharps so we get the feeling of A major and move this to an E. These probably want to then come back up again uh, with a G natural. Thank you. Um, so. Okay, I think I like the sound of that. Aha, no, they want to come back down here. And I think we can hear the key changing here slightly into a different center. Yes, B minor there. So let's pop these down into the correct octave. That would also help. And you can see here we're getting a little bit too low. So what we'll probably do with this is just change it as we did in the previous doodle into the bass clef for the right hand which is going to make everything a lot easier for us to be able to read. Uh, this then felt like it was dropping into B minor, so we'll change these to complement that. And the program is always desperate to have the wrong flats and sharps. Okay, let's try that again. in my head here. I think it does want to go back up to an A again there. Let's just see if I agree with myself. Yeah, I think that probably works. Change that back into a crotchet. Let's have F sharp, G, and then back to an E here, and then that can drop to an A. And we're just playing here around lots of the triads of D major. We've got D, triad one, and then we've got chord four here, G, and then A. And when we put them into this, we can see a few other chords as well, like the relative minor of B minor all sound very lovely together and even just playing them outside the context of this piece you can hear they all make a very nice piece of music just as chords when we put them into a melody i'm not quite sure about the ending Just fiddle around with this and see if I can agree with what I want there. And then I think we need to move a little bit away from here. So yeah, I'm relatively happy with that. Again, often if you want to revisit something in your doodle, you can often improve it with a lot more time and thought going into it. But as we're supposed to be doodling this, I won't spend too much time fiddling about with things. I would like, though, to see in context what this sounds like and to remember to put in the pickup at the end of this bar. So let's just zoom out and edit that into it. So, so we just want an F sharp and the G. So let's see if it will let me put those in. It's going to be probably better to move that bass clef symbol, I think. And I'll do that in a second. So this will just take a, a moment to make it look all nice again. And there we go. That looks better with our bass clef coming in at the right time. So, so far we've got... to move 
this into the middle. It's the only place we've not used. Where do we need to go from here? So we're in A. It's a bit of a cadence to A, which feels quite like an imperfect cadence. So it feels like we need to go back to D again for probably the last portion of our piece of music. probably move into octaves in the bass now. So I'm going to zoom in down here. Let's just pop this onto a new line because it'll be very much easier for us to keep an eye on. Uh, nope, wrong melody. Let's grab one of these bass lines, pop that down here, and I think I'll double it all up. So I'm going to go in with another set of Ds underneath and see if we can make this work as a bigger piece of music. Okay, so let's just take a few of these and I think I'll keep the harmony probably straight on this one again so that we don't end up with too much of a difference between the beginning and the end. I might just take the melody I think from the beginning of the music one more time. And then we might just do a little bit of an alteration for the final section as we run through. Remember to change our clef back and that should all look a bit more like this. So let's pop that down the octave. Then we'll have covered three places, a little bit like all the different uh, instrumental departments for the marching bands as well. should keep it here. Oh yes, I think I'm afraid I'm going to be changing some things. So I think we do need a more strident bit there. So let's imagine that pickup's there again. And although I'm going to keep to roughly the same melody, I can just feel we want to have a little difference in it here. Okay, and I think this is sounding very good here. Crotchets. Okay, let's try that out. So what that comes out like, I'd like to finish them with a slightly higher up part. And we might just double up some notes to finish with over here. So using all the notes of the chords. Maybe something like that. here we can finish this off just covering all those different ranges that we've covered so far So I think probably we're going to change these chords a little bit here. B minor feeling, D major. And then just bring this to a conclusion. There. If I can get the note to right. 
Okay. All right. So it feels a bit like we've got to the right place with this now. Let's just pop in these last few bars here for the chords and maybe just have a little play through this. I'm not sure if the melody's quite ended up exactly how I wanted it, so we'll just take a moment to, to play through and see if we can get this in the right place. I will put the sheet music, as I say, at the end, so apologies if it's slightly off the screen for you. <laughs> So just a few final tweaks and then the music will be ready. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's doodle. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you are able to support Helpful Heroes in any way, I will be very grateful to receive any donations via the sheet music purchases that I will link down below. And I will send those donations off as soon as possible and let you know how much money we've raised in a post as soon as I can. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you have enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and like. And I will see you in the next music video. Thank you very much. Bye for now.